Merry, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everybody. You know? Uh, it's the South Cash, and I go by the name of Steve. Yeah. And I'm Ariel. Okay, and it's the gang Wayne and it's Diane. What's up, y'all? Merry Christmas to y'all and your families, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Happy New Year's if, if y'all heard it, it's a Yeah. Yeah, yeah y'all might not hear it. Year. Year. I don't know about y'all, but it's uh, sunny than a mug outside. It's real nice today. Like, it's like, they were like 65 degrees. Summer, it's like about 60, 70, 50, 50. 64, and you know that's summertime in that. You know what I'm talking about? So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know y'all about to be at the club tonight. Cause Man, I, know I know how y'all going to be out late with the birthday. I mean, the, downtown. Uh, oh, yeah, shout out to everybody who, uh, what's your sign if you in December? Right, if you Capricorn. 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 Shout out to the Capricorn. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yes, y'all Cap- most. Uh-huh, Happy uh-huh, birthday uh-huh. to everybody uh-huh. whose birthday was today. Everybody's birthday coming up today in New Year's. Mm-hmm. But, uh, mm-hmm. uh, we want to know is, uh, what? What y'all get for? <laughs> <laughs> y'all don't buy the background. Right. Shit, my sister's in there making us some fucking so, pancakes. Hey, we need some right. pancakes, right? Anyways, anyways, anyways. Yeah, cakes, so, y'all know how cakes. we do. We start with the topic, then we go to current business, and then we go about how niggas feeling this week. Now, y'all know that this is a Christmas mm-hmm. episode. So, we're going to try to move through a little faster because, you know what I'm saying, we want to spend time with our family just like y'all. But we also understand face, that we do face. need to record this shit. So, and get this content there you go. Y'all. All right. So, the topic, Trump got impeached. The fuck? Hey, and so, I'm going to break it down into simple nigga terms. I have been waiting on this. Facts. Yeah, please, I'm going right. to break we it know. down to nigga we terms. What mean? Because impeached word been brought up about... Trump for a few months now. I've been getting a little irritated because y'all motherfuckers think that everybody is a political science major and everybody's supposed to know this. No. Everybody doesn't know this. You don't have to know this like that. Right. If you don't know it, it's not that bad. It's not a bad thing. It's fine. It's hella motherfuckers that don't know shit. Them motherfuckers, right. ask the motherfuckers who they motherfucking yeah. mayor is. Ask the motherfuckers who they motherfucking governor is. I bet they don't know that shit. But hey, all I'm of a sudden, like everybody know about Peach. Like, everybody know about Peach, man. Peach, man. He ain't leaving office. Shut the fuck up. Right, okay, right, anyway. Right. So, so I'm about to break the fuck down. Real, real, really what is it? But because Hell of y'all. Nah. But look, y'all act like, but look. first of all, y'all act like y'all don't want to vote. But now y'all like, y'all know what impeachment mean. When really, you think your vote don't count, but you're stupid anyway. Anyways. Let me get back to where I was coming to. Coming from. I'm about to break it the fuck down in terms I don't terms quite all the way believe niggas. that, though. But this is what the fuck that is going down. on, okay? <laughs> Trump got impeached, okay? You can get impeached by... So we got, what, three three branches of government. The executive branch, yeah. legislative, and president, right? Is that the executive branch? The legislative and the... Yeah, I, think I don't know what the... Anyways... We got three different see. ones. This is the nigga version, okay? So the House and the Senate, basically, yes. House of Representatives, they Look, have what? We have the executive, legislative, and the judicial. And the du- judicial, I forgot about that there part. Yeah. So we got three different branches, okay? All right. So um, the House is who is in charge of. Well, we have three different branches so that we can make sure everybody, nobody steps on each other's toes, basically. And that's how all the laws get passed. They got yeah. Everybody got to pass the law. N- not necessarily. Second. But anyways, we, we got those so motherfuckers don't be trying to create no dictatorship right. in the United States. Well, it's supposed to count as a balance of power. Yes, basically. So, um, the impeachment process is happy. You said the executive, legislative. And the judicial. Okay. So, it, the... The I believe the executive, legislative, and the executive is the legislative is the Senate because they make the laws. Senate and the House of Representatives. Yes, that's the legislative branch. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so they make the laws. That just means they make the laws. And executive means president. Yep. There you go. Yes, sir. So um, to impeach somebody, you have to the House has to vote and make sure that they get impeached. Now, impeach only means that the president can. Um, be charged with a crime. At this point, if before a president gets impeached, they cannot be charged with a crime. So impeached only means that we are allowing the president to get charged of, with a crime. That's yes. what the fuck that means. Yes. And that's the fuck it. Yes. Okay? Now, after that, you can they go to the Senate and then they vote to make to see if the charges that they bring up on him 
or he's going to get convicted for it. And if a president gets convicted of a crime, then he no longer can be president because just like your job, if you go to jail, get convicted of a crime while you're, while you're doing your job, right. then you're going to get fired. So sure. when they say he's not going to come out the house, he can't until he gets convicted of the crime that he did. Yeah, exactly. But my only thing is like, mm-hmm. I guess I'll be one of them people that be like on the on the fence about it because I'm like shit. Even if he do get impeached, shit ain't like it fucking matters. He mm-hmm. like them that served his term, right? Right. And I, and I and I believe that that was one of those elections to where the following election the same shit is not gonna happen. The same shit is not gonna happen. Okay. We're not gonna vote for it. We actually gonna get a president this time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, but then I. I can't really when you talk about vote, I'm I kinda can agree with them people that say the vote really don't count. It, it, it does count, but it don't count it that does. much for real. It does. I'm it does. I'm gonna there. tell you how the vote counts. Okay, the Lake College is I believe is two or three rep, reps from each state and they vote either um wait, they vote for the president for your state basically. So if your state, they, it's never been a time where they went against what the state wanted. You know what I'm saying? Probably like a few occasions, not really that many times. So they usually vote the same way the state votes. So in order for it to not be, California has way more of a population than we do. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So if we just go, went based off of the number of votes and not by state by state, then mm. they would always pick the president. All the five top cities in America would pick the president. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the electoral college makes it so that just not one state can pick the president, which it should not be like that. Because the whole state might be blue, and our, our state might be more red, but we don't get to say because they have more people. That's not fair. Right. So as long as you vote and, and your your elect, electoral college, whatever, representative, votes for the same um, person that your Candidate. overall state yeah. fucking voted for, then that's fine. Like, it's the same shit. It's not different. Um, Hillary got more votes like overall than Donald Trump, but that's because uh, the the bigger cities voted for her. But yeah. but state by state, but more states also, voted for him. So right. America voted for him at the end of the day. Like more states voted for this nigga. I mean, I I agree, but at the same time, like um, your vote only counts so much. You know what I'm saying? Why you say it only holds so much weight because. The people are gonna be influenced by whoever, whoever they see fit. So whoever got the, whoever is the most, who has the most popular views is the one who's gonna get in office anyway. Whoever speaking to so? whoever speaking to the masses the most. Bro, the nobody, get, even the people who study, like who study elections and stuff like that, thought Donald, Donald Trump was gonna be president. But it's because you appeal to the masses at that point in time. Everybody was just trying to, okay, so he said this and he said that. If you got certain points that the majority of the people like, they um, some people, because you got people out here who just vote based strictly off of shit. He said that he going to do X, Y, and Z for this. He they ain't thinking about nothing else that he said. They just yeah. think about yeah, they're, he they're did vote, X, Y, and Z. They're voting by their interest. Yeah, voting by interest. The that's interest, not, the interest But that. the interest voters, that's the people who really swing the election, honestly. Well, that's because in they my got opinion. More, that's I because they got more were, motherfuckers voting. Like if it's more people like us that went out and voted, then vote. we can swing the shit. You know what I'm saying? That's the that's the whole point. Like we supposed to if we was way more involved, then we can swing some shit. But we not as involved, so of course, yeah, I see what you're saying there. Right, but still at the same time it's like whoever we put in election yeah. is gonna govern us the way they see fit. So it's really, yeah, we'll put this person in election, but they're never going to do everything that they say that they promise. It's impossible. Okay. If so you that's ever, why if you, you ever, if you ever look at it, it's impossible. That's the okay, real. Okay, that's like, why you vote for the person who's going to do who you think are they lean stronger towards your interest. Then you know what I'm saying. Well, I'm just you know what I'm saying because Trump was like my nigga. I'm I'm a, I'm against I'm on immigration. Right. So. That was something that he was serious about, and he did all that shit. Everything he said he was going to do with regards to his immigration, he did. It's like presidents are always real strong about something in particular. For sure. So if that's your interest, then vote on that, and that alone, and that's all you can do. You know what I'm saying? Don't. 
I'm, I'm hating this like color thing where I feel like these politicians care more about what side are they on more so than are y'all helping people out like like y'all niggas know for good and goddamn well Trump fucking uh broke the law okay but y'all not gonna vote for him because he's red and you're red that's crazy like y- y'all not gonna y'all not gonna convict him because he has the color he wears the color red and you wear the color red they some so games. we're not gonna we're not that's gonna convict game. him because he's Republican bro he broke the, the fucking law game, bro. The government All is the of them need to, like, game, bro. they, they do. I don't get it. They the biggest game. They, um, they do, they take an oath and say that if a president does this, they have to get him out of office. And y'all definitely are not finna do that. But the government is the, the biggest gang and they true to their religion. Come on, bro. Let's quit playing. Like, they ain't the biggest Like, it's already. illegal for you to vote that he's not. You know what I'm saying? That he did not do these crimes when he clearly did. You know what I'm saying? But if they don't vote it, then he ain't going to, you feel me? He ain't going to get thrown out of office if they don't vote it. Oh, they they think that he ain't, they ain't going to vote to him out of office because everybody's ready. So, oh, red. it shouldn't even, like, why, like, the fact that we think it maybe not going to vote him out because it's all, it's an all red Senate. What type of shit is that? What do you mean, bro? He broke the law. This should not matter if he's red, blue, green, whatever. If it was right. black. Y'all would have got his ass the fuck up out of there. That's privilege, though. We act like we don't we don't know about privilege, but the way to change privilege is uh, nigga. The last to president got impeached because he was fucking in the White House. This nigga is this nigga is committing like crimes, like the highest of highest crimes that they they give you like when you're working, they give you like uh. A whole bunch of but training know, on this type of fucking shit. But I'm gonna tell you like this. this. I'm gonna tell you like this. I'm gonna tell you like this. M- money erase some of the some of the money. Money will fuck with your morals and values. You know what I'm saying? Because this nigga's already rich before he went in there. He funded his own campaign. A lot of people don't fund their own campaign. They be having investors and shit. He you got. He had people funding his campaign. I mean, but true. But he still already had money. So you don't think he bribing none of them people? Them all his niggas. Right. Nigga, you don't think... That, he ain't got to bribe his niggas. Like, bro, if you vote for me, bro, I'm going to cut your taxes by 15%, bro. That's bribing. He like... That's bribing. That's a that's a form of bribery. Is it bribing? Yes. If I cut your taxes by anything, I'm I'm bribing you. Bribing is you just offering somebody... I guess somebody. that is, but that's the shit he yeah. did. That's the shit he did. That's what he's doing. And that's why he should be fucking thrown the fuck out of office. He making them niggas... He did that yeah, with should. a fucking... With a fucking country. Should, Bro, I'll yeah. give y'all 400 million if y'all give me some information on Joe Biden. What? He should. Nigga, that is against the law. I'm not saying he shouldn't get charged, that's but I'm saying the reason, if he doesn't, I'm saying if he doesn't get charged, then that's the reason why he's not going to get but charged. But ba- I feel like that's what, that's basically what lobbying is. Like, you're, mm-hmm. get, you're, you're donating. Yeah. To a uh, to a candidate t- that supports your cause, like nigga, that's Pretty not much. what you're doing, bro. Pretty much, you're giving to him so that he can do something for you, and that's mm-hmm. basically legal motherfucking bribery. But it just sounds better. So mm-hmm. I hope that helps. You know what I'm saying? He is impeached. And oh yes, why this matters? Um, my nigga, let's just say you at work, right? Let's say you at work and you rob your store and you get fired. Bro, You nobody at work is going to see you. You know, everybody going to see you go to jail. Yeah. Get taken out of jail you, in handcuffs from work. Yeah. You don't got, I don't, ha, I don't need to see the judge convict you to know that you flunk. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know that you got arrested at your job. Yeah. So basically that's what impeachment is. Yeah. Everybody like he ain't going to get thrown out. But only three other niggas have got arrested at work while he's while they're the president of the United States. Well, two, and he, two he other is, niggas and one them there jump ship before. Okay. It was that Richard Nixon them there jump ship before he 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 knew shit was in process. Come on out of here. So Man. I mean, you're <laughs> y'all gotta understand that we're we employ him basically. So we just witnessed a fucking president committing like. Get arrested at, at the job. He got arrested at the job, basically. So that's that's right there is a lie. And so people saying like, oh, it's not that big a deal because he ain't leaving. This nigga is always gonna be known as the president who broke the law. 
Yeah, he's gonna go down in history, but I mean, he's gonna go down in history as a, a fucking donkey of the day, any fucking way, for some of the shit he did. So, yep, 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 yep. All right, so I, like events. I said, I hope that helped you guys out a little bit, and we're gonna jump into the current events, like Stephen just said. So the first current event is I know we talked about this, I believe, last time when WAC 100 said that Nipsey wasn't a legend. So we found out that WAC got knocked out. Shortly after, by Nipsey's bodyguard. So, do you think he was justified? No. Who? Uh, you talking about the words that were said? Nah, no. Nah, do nah, you nah, think? Nah. Do you think that it was justified that he got knocked Cause out? Because it, it, oh, there's a story. Saying, that's no. a story that like allegedly he got into it with with somebody from Nipsey's camp. They said Nipsey's bodyguard, and then Nipsey's bodyguard went went in with the lamp. Yeah, yeah, knocked him out. So you think Nipsey's bodyguards should have did that? Man, it was cool that they did it, but it didn't justify. Like your questions that you asked, I believe it was justified. Why not, Wayne? Because that wasn't nothing. He shouldn't have said it with his words about respect. What? You said what? It was Sorry. About yeah. yeah, for sure. For sure. I but I mean. Shit, if, if that actually was an altercation between Wack 100 and um, Nipsey's bodyguard and and Wack actually did get knocked out or whatever, I mm-hmm. mean, I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad. You talking about somebody, you know what I'm saying? When, somebody love one. Where somebody love one when other people are still grieving. And, I mean, just to talk about a man where he ain't here to defend himself, it, it don't even have to go that far. So if somebody feel that way, you shit, you deserve that shit, man. You know what's coming to you. You know what I'm saying? You, you talk loud, you get a lot of results. Well, like I was saying, I feel like... Um, mm, I feel like... I wouldn't say, like... To, I wouldn't say justify violence with violence, but at the end of the fucking day, like, you're talking about somebody loved one that's fresh, my nigga. This nigga just died this year. I don't think motherfuckers really understand that. Like, it only been a few months since this nigga died, and y'all motherfuckers is really out here disrespecting him. So, of course, like... If a nigga know you, he can get to you. He's gonna beat your ass. Like that's just like nigga. Are you Y'all serious? Y'all live in the same city, cuz. Nipsey would have did probably the same shit. You lucky you just got. He that. smacked the fuck out of right. somebody. Right. You lucky you just got that. You lucky you just got that because a nigga might have you know been when the been no manager. <laughs> like they got the video. He woke up looking sleep though. Like what we say? I was looking sleep. Oh my god! I got that fucking song. Sweet. No nah, man. So why you said no? It's not justified. No, nah, it was just about it was about respect. You still let that roll off your tongue. Mm-hmm. Nah, man. Speaking on a dick. Yeah, cause I mean, like I said, that's that's that nigga was with that nigga every single day. Like you can't even he he going through a lot right now, and then you gonna talk shit about him? Come on now, bro. Like I said, if Nipsey would have if Nipsey was alive, he would have pulled up also. So. They're just doing what the what if this would allow, this wouldn't be a conversation because he wouldn't be talking about him. Yeah, because I don't remember him talking about him when he was alive. So he wasn't. I mean, he he passed, and then now he said something. So then the the reporters know. Okay, he said something. The first time we asked him about Nipsey, to the second time they just gonna ask him about Nipsey again, and he like uh, nah, or just boom. From him talking about Nipsey, then you see somebody come out the womb womb. On this, he's camp like mm, your violation stepped on. So, you feel me? Mm. All right, next current event. I think we wrapped that up pretty quickly. I mean, hey, it's justified. God damn it. When he said it's no. No, he I said mean, no, yeah. the words. The oh. word that he said. It was about the respect. Yeah, oh, okay. right. That's why it happened. Yeah, because okay. the principal and the respect. They didn't put it out like in the social media. Right. Yep. So, it was justified. Everybody think that. <laughs> He's all acceptable. shit about somebody love was right, you gonna get smacked in the mouth. Come on, he's gonna get smacked. You should have known that he, he was gonna come so back. Something, something. <laughs> all right, so um, next, no, next current event. Larry Galore tried to call out QCP for being a bad father, and he came back and he exposed her. He said she had five abortions, she had a pimp. 
she was trying to extort him for 15 million and numerous other private text messages. Do you think it's cool for a nigga or a female to put out your private text messages when they on social media talk the shit about you? She was are wrong. they at that point do like are they at that point receipts? She was wrong. He was wrong. She can't blame him for clapping back because she ran her mouth. You know, you said she had receipts. No, he had receipts. He had receipts. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's, that's... Yep, and he he pulled them out, my nigga. Right, like, why, like, bitch? You trying to get back with you, me? And you gotta understand who you who you dealing with. Come on, bro. If you know you said anything, why would you even slander? If you know that you had some heat, I feel if like if you know he had some heat, girl, you know you then pour out your feelings to this man. You trying. Going on the media, and bad fuck girl, shut up. I feel like I feel like I don't know. I feel like this nigga like. I feel like this nigga been fucking like he got like five baby mamas. Like this is a this is a different type of baby daddy. Like he already has five baby mamas. He knows how to deal with you bitches. You bitches gonna try to you bitches. He knows how bitches work at this point. So he's gonna always take receipts. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, right. he's going to be ready because this nigga is, none of his baby mamas ever talk shit about him. You know what I'm saying? So obviously this nigga is good at what he does. He cover his tracks up or he fucking give he doing okay for his baby mamas. I don't know. Ain't nothing really talking shit. Man, um So there, niggas man. is always this type of nigga that you're fucking with, Lyra, he gonna have receipts on you. But she basically was saying that he was hitting her or some shit, and that's why she wanted fifteen million. So, you know what I'm saying? Nothing he said to clap back had anything to do with him not beating her ass. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, he could still have beat her ass, and then he just he just put out that all this extra information about her that had nothing to do with if he hit her or not. So my nigga, he probably still smacked that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Overall, let me say this. I'm gonna still say overall, bro. Oh, overall, she's still gonna right. get that 15 mil, so he only he just might as well drop it. Overall, I don't her. give a fuck about none of that happened. That shit is personal, nigga. You putting personal in the public, bro. It's she violation. put it in the public first. That's what I'm saying. You putting personal in the public. That's somebody, uh, somebody coming to you. But check this out. Check this out. Let me reference. Name. Let me reference. You got four other kids. Let me reference to Swiss Beats. You a bad father. Let me reference to okay. Swiss Beats. Okay. Oh, yeah, that did happen. Because he handled this shit differently. He did. You got to know your personnel. You coming at a, you coming at a nigga like P, a nigga like P. Don't respond. But I feel like this situation is a like lot P different is. though also. It's a lot different, but still, it's still, a, it's still a baby mama out here spewing. At the end of the day... The bottom line is still a baby mama talking sideways on the internet. The circumstances, you could, the formula is different. You know what I'm saying? The equation is different. The equation is different, but you still start with the same constant. Mm-hmm. You have one constant, but you have the static variable. The constant variable is the baby mama going on social media, talking great about some personal life shit. Boom. So it's B's handling like, all right. He responded like two or three times, like bless. You know what I'm saying? You got my you got my number, you got my line. What's up? Hit me up if you really gotta talk. All this stuff is nonsense. Cause I don't feel like But the the it's, issue it's, with that was that she felt like she was shitty because Alicia Keys gave her daughter a phone. And she has a phone and her mom doesn't know about the phone. That's different than you beat my ass, I need 15 million for that. You know what I'm saying? You're a woman beater. You know what I'm saying? It's two different things. Like, a, a bitch call you out and say you a woman beater, you might expose some text messages like, bitch, and you a hoe. But at the end of the day, like I said, he still didn't justify the fact that he didn't say that he didn't beat her ass. I mean, but but if he didn't, why would he address it? Most he's probably not even going to entertain that. Right. Um, Why would he enter, yeah. because if he, he enter, cause if he entertain that, then you gonna think that he did. So he like, if he did or if he didn't, why would he entertain it at all? That's not what you like. He trying to state the facts. Right, he's stating the facts. He ain't worried about entertaining no shit that she said. Why he entertaining I mean, this foolery that she's talking about? He ain't about to do that. <laughs> 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 Y'all <laughs> niggas. <laughs> right. right. 
I didn't even think it was well, like that. But we gonna be on the next side. You know what I mean? No, no, I understand that too. That makes sense. That makes sense as well. All right, so to wrap it up, I feel like he, like Steven said, he could have not put her business out there. He did not have to do that at the end of the day, and she should not. They both wrong. But at the end of the day, nigga, you didn't say if you beat her ass or not. That was the whole issue. <laughs> you skimmed right past that. But like when Steven said, he might ain't gonna even address no dumb ass shit like that. From his baby mamas because this nigga knows right. how to handle didn't. baby mamas because he has four. The fuck? If a nigga has four baby mamas, mamas, he knows how to handle a baby mama. That ain't nothing for him to handle, especially a nigga with some money. You give that bitch some money, you gonna shut up. <laughs> All right, next curry bit. All right. So 16-year-old Carol Sanchez, um, she had got abducted earlier when she was with her mom. Yeah. And then later we found out that she actually faked that shit. So she didn't really get abducted. And she said she didn't get abducted. She faked the whole thing, she said, because her parents were, like, super strict. She was trying to get away from them. She wanted to fuck with this some nigga that she was fucking with. And her parents wouldn't let her go out fuck with the nigga. So she faked abduction so she can go hang out with the nigga. How old was this young lady? Oh, she's 16. Okay. So my question is, what type of consequences do you think somebody somebody should receive? receive if they do some shit like this. Should you receive. If you fake an abduction, should you face consequences First of all, what in your natural neural brain would want you to fake an abduction? She wants to hang out with her nigga. She's 16. Her mom won't let her hang out with her nigga. And that's what the fuck she wanted well, to do. And that's what she did. Fake, say fake abduction. Abducted. She probably didn't think, nope, mm-hmm. everybody was going to be on this shit. Like the whole United States. Like you know, She's probably abduction. like, my nigga, I fake abductions all the time. Nobody get fucked about mine. Abductions are a little different. <laughs> her, her, one of her friends if probably said that. You up. And she, they was like, "Damn, bro, <laughs> you want to share?" I feel phone. like, I feel like that's that's too serious. She got fucking found the next. Day. That that's too serious <laughs> of a it. of a. Okay, 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 okay. So she got, she's okay. So she, so she basically just. Left the crib. Basically, she no. Away. She was she was walking down the street no, with her she mama, just, she just, and some nigga stopped with a fucking van and pulled her ass in there. Yeah. So she thought of this shit. Yes. Just to hang yeah. out with a little nigga. Yep. That is a mastermind. That is premeditated <laughs> abduction. Right. Yeah. Damn, she didn't really gotta get charged. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. She is the I gotta ch- I gotta charge her with at least grounding. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta ground that my nigga for doing some stupid ass shit like no. that. I'll be upset. That's crazy. Man. But at the same time, if I was a parent, I would ask why. But then thinking about a person from the outside looking in, it's still like, come on, bro. Too many abductions going on. He can't be playing like that. Can't be you can't. You crazy. can't be playing crazy. You can't be doing stuff in New like York, that. I think it's like bro, bro, you gonna cause a heart attack in this motherfucker, bro. Got, Quit playing, bro. Uh, Quit doing uh, shit like that. Worry parents. But but like, that I also goes to the side of the parents. You gotta give your kids, especially when they teenagers, you gotta give them a little space, a little space. Give them guidelines. Let them. You feel me? If they go on a little date. They say things. I'm going to a little date. I'm going to movies or something, but do not restrict them too much because then that's when kids start trying to sneak out and shit. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. is not it. Kids are already going to be kids because we're already going to test the limits when we're children. That's what we do. What can we do? What can I get away with? That's what we're going to do. And as we get older, we think about it more, especially in them teenage years. You're going to do it, but at the same time, as a parent, give them freedom, but also let them know. That there are rules and regulations that you have to follow and guidelines. Don't do my nothing house. that make them want to do that, though. Like you can't be too too strict, bro. Too too strict, and that's when they get to run away, going away to little parties and shit with the uh, alcohol and shit like that, and then crazy shit happen. Mm-hmm. So, so, uh, she's wrong. What should happen to people who do shit like this, nothing. bro? You just you really gotta talk to her, and then give her like look. I understand you run around like that, but like I'm gonna give you a little bit more freedom, but you can't be doing that shit Man, like that. Man, her parents is blocking her the fuck down. Like, could you imagine having a strict parent and then you do some shit like this? They ain't let you go nowhere else. 
That's, that's my, the thing. Like they gonna go, they gonna go backwards. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't do that though. I wouldn't do that though, cause that's a cry for attention, bro. That's a cry for attention. I wouldn't do that to the child, bro. You do that to the child, it's just gonna make matters worse. She probably gonna do it again, or if it happens again, it'll be. I don't know. I just wouldn't want that to happen again. I tell her, look, be always open with me. I give you a little more freedom. That's all I tell him. <laughs> but you still grinding for a couple months because you on some bullshit. That's exactly what's going to happen. Was on some bullshit. Well, well, after you get grounded, I give you a little bit more freedom and just be open with me. That's all I tell him. Because okay, at that age, I just, I just... I just you wait, what should happen to people who do shit like this? <laughs> what would you do if your child did that at 16? If E did that. Yeah. Basically is. <laughs> you know, but That's you know. Facts. Right, it's different. It's different. Yeah. We don't even boys don't even gotta do shit like that. Well, we don't gotta do shit like that. Boys don't but what is she let's doing, talk about cause? that. Niggas what don't is... even wouldn't even have to act like but wait, but wait, but they wait. got a the, the, y'all but can wait. just walk the fuck out the crib. But wait, let's you talk about Wade shit first. Okay, let's talk well, about Wade. When he, what would you do if you had a daughter that did that? Oh. If she did that, I know your daughter wouldn't do that, but if she did it. I'd go get a lay so she could beat her up. <laughs> lay ain't gonna beat her up. She gonna get beat up. So you gotta get somebody else. Chill out, bro. Chill out, bro. Okay. Lay ain't gonna pick up, her up. Take her to get some ice cream. Lay the lolly. Right. I'm gonna do what she do. Oh my god. Lay no. right there, bro. <laughs> she said, don't call me if you want some wood. Uh, sure. <laughs> I'm out of here. Sure. I'm I'm don't call me. She said, don't call me cuz. I'm what shit done I with win? you. <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, I feel like don't it would be mom. great if, if when this happened that they could get exposed on social media every time and then they could get embarrassed. I mean, that's something that's like the most that, that, that should happen. They should just get in fucking embarrassed. Like, you're dumbass. Right. <laughs> Why would you fake abduction? You already bitch? gonna be on social media once you. You just gonna have to. You just gonna have to sneak out and or go go home from school late. Some just like the rest of everybody else. Like, what? Why the fuck would you fucking go that far to like fake an abduction in this time and time right now where fucking abduction is like all the way up? Why the fuck would you do that right now? You just need to get embarrassed. You're an idiot. You know some out. bullshit. That's what stop you should doing get. it. Stop it. <laughs> Not stop doing it. But oh yeah, like so niggas, like I said, and this this all come down <laughs> to this back to that one. ass shit. She For y'all to even that be that able <laughs> yeah. to motherfucking just walk up out the fucking yeah. crib without motherfucking saying nothing to y'all about you know fucking or anything like that is the reason why she's doing this shit because she shouldn't even feel like she should have to like sneak the fuck out. Like, she should even be like, I gotta fucking get abducted for me to see my nigga. You know what I'm saying? She's 16. So she should be able to go to the movies with her nigga on a Friday if she does what she's supposed to do throughout the week. What time did she get the one It was late, but she was with her mama. Like, for her to feel... She did that on purpose, did she? planned them. Okay, but I'm saying, like, she did that because she felt like she probably probably wanted to see her nigga. And she couldn't see her nigga. So she had to get abducted to see her nigga. So it's like, Late. if my, if my parents went so fucking fluck right. and let me go to the movies here and there when I get good grades or whatever, then it wouldn't be no, you know what I'm saying? But niggas can just walk. I bet she probably got a brother or something. He walk the fuck in and out whenever the fuck. <laughs> but I got to act like I got abducted to see my nigga. That's dumb. That's just gender. That's how parents, that's how parents be. And that's why. That's Stop doing that shit to y'all daughters. Let but them then that, go that, to movies. But then also, like I said, I said that early. I said the same thing. What? You just gotta loosen up sometimes, you know. Can't be too too straight. You be too too straight. Then shit, shit like that happens. <laughs> shit like that happens. All right, shit. Mm. God damn. Stop doing that shit to y'all daughters, and they won't have to even do shit like that. Y'all Boom. parents need to change. Anyways, J.R. Smith's wife found out he was cheating. And he she was, was fucking cheating, praying bro. for his ass. Praying for him on when social he media. Cheated. That means she got a whole lot of Look, energy. These brothers need to get together. <laughs> I mean he got a whole lot of she got a whole lot of good energy. And she trying to spew out and she just She pray prayed for him, him on social media, but why he say he said, God, tell your child to tell everybody else that we've been separated for four months. Oh. He's crazy. <laughs> 
<laughs> have they been separated for four months? That's what he said. They've been separated, so what the fuck she talking about? Praying on social media with his Wait, 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 wait. Separated. <laughs> Were they married? They married, but they separated. That's what J.R. Okay, Smith so said. Not, so they wasn't, so they wasn't No, they're not divorced yet, no. But they separated. Yeah, but you going to separate with a basketball player? You think he ain't going to fuck no hoes? He right. cannot wait. Right. He said He said separated uh, means freedom. He said separated means freedom. That nigga fucking and ducking. He broke up. He mean fucking and ducking, nigga. A piece of paper ain't shot. gonna stop him from fucking no bitch. If they if need to be it's, she better be glad they had a fucking yes and no, and we're on a fucking break before right. he oh, fucking so. cheated, okay? Because oh, so. <laughs> he could have cheated when, <laughs> before they even said that shit. They need to be working on that pill though. <laughs> he said he needed to be working on his mother the for fuck? Dumb shot, dumb shot. Shit. She better be glad he he stopped. Hey man, she it prayed only it. she prayed that for the only on the ground for some clout. Fuck you think so? Everything is for the ground though. Do it for the ground. Do, do it, it for, for the ground. ground. She ain't gonna do it. Why is she praying for this man on the ground, bro? Because Come on, she bro. she heard that. Why she doing on the ground? Why she do it on the ground? Because the because the ground. Man, fuck the that. Gram, Why she do it on? The- she did it on the fucking gram because his motherfucking ass. Uh huh. She found out about his ass cheating on the ground, so that's why she did it on the ground. So she put it right back in his face. She I guess out, she found out he did it on the ground, like so she put it back on the ground. Since she was already out there. Since she was already on the ground, he was already through the social there. media. <laughs> I feel like she found out about. His new bitch from the ground, and so that's why she put that on the ground. Man, that don't mean shit. I don't give a fuck if she do found it on some. Facebook. It don't do put that some. shit back out. Address that man personally. Probably not. Shit. I'm, Address I'm that man sure personally. I hope she don't know her. Address that man personally, man. All that does is she is reckless. I mean, what if she can't get to him personally? What if he don't want to talk what to you him mean? personally? Well, then don't talk about it. To everybody else, talk about it to your loved ones. You got a best friend, you got a mama, a daddy, a sister, a cousin, or something, nigga. She must don't. She All do. All she got is Jesus, and that's why she Man, went on. You better pray that's to why Jesus. she went online, and she prayed to Jesus. You, know you better what pray to Jesus at night, motherfucker. Because she feel like, you know, he ain't doing that on his own. That got to be the devil. Man, goddamn, if it is the Period. devil, motherfucker, <laughs> you better pray, you better pray. And the social media is the devil and your ass entertaining that motherfucker. So shit. Oh, church. Social church. media is the devil? Is social media oh, the devil? It can be. It can be. I don't know about it. It can be. Most people on their back. I, I, back, 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 Oh, what, you, what do you get on social media for, Steven? Me? Shit, just to go by with Tom. Let me get on there and we're nothing specific. <laughs> Nigga, I go on that motherfucker and just get on that motherfucker. <laughs> like, what's Tom. going on? This is motherfucking right. shit. I got about 30 minutes to burn. Nigga, what's good with it? Got about an hour to burn. What's happening with it? What's going on? Who doing what on this motherfucker? What y'all that like? Okay, I agree with your statement. Retweet, like, like, like. Oh, my nigga, you posted a picture. Like, like, you remember? Not too much major. Okay, why why you be on social media? Why don't you be on social media? <laughs> ah. <laughs> why you be on social media? Why you be on social media? Why you in this thing? Why you be on social media? Why you in this thing? I mean, I be don't know. I do it for uh, the wave, man. You know what I mean? Truthfully, truthfully wave, spoken. Man. I don't know, I like, I just feel like, yeah, like, mm, it be passing time, but I'm about to get the fuck off of it. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna delete my account, though. motherfuckers be, I'm nah. about to delete my account or something, nah, I'm, I'm not gonna delete my account delete because my it's account. 2020, so it's, you gotta have <laughs> social media, <laughs> but I'm definitely gonna, like, stop being on there because it's just, like, it's just a way to pass time, honestly, and, uh, oh, what's your favorite social media? My, my favorite is Twitter. Because Twitter's funny. I bitch. really don't have a favorite. I need to make a Twitter. You should. It's great. Uh, okay, okay. Put like that. Put like that. Put like that. Put like that. Oh, funny. Instagram. Twitter and Snapchat are the two that I, that, I, that I go to the most, really. I go to Twitter more than anything. Um, Twitter's so, like a, Twitter's like a so news like feed. Family, you know what I'm saying? Old family, friends, stuff like that. Yeah. Twitter's like Facebook college. can turn into family. 
college friends, stuff like that. <laughs> People who are like like a little bit more educated. What you say? Who Twitter. can articulate what they got to Twitter, say through Twitter words? Twitter got a little That's research Twitter. behind it. You get a little research. Behind yeah, you. Yeah. Snapchat sure. is strictly what I'm on right like, now. Like, if you're looking for some news, <laughs> then it's more so like Facebook. Twitter. Twitter. No, tragedy. You can find, tragedy you can is for Facebook. Fast, but in, tragedy, Twitter, that's news. tragedy and congratulations is for Facebook. Like just ain't, all that's news and current though. events. Like, you're like is you Twitter. can confirm. Like I'll see something on Twitter and say somebody RIP. I gotta go to Facebook to confirm that it's really RIP. And Facts. you can always confirm from Facebook if some like right. somebody died or that's not. The, news. the street news, but. I and mean, other news, like, Tragedies Twitter. and congratulations are on Facebook, like I said. And Tragic current event. Co- like pregnancies and... Pregnancies, and marriages, motherfucking deaths, motherfucking anniversaries, sometimes, most of the time, birthdays. On Twitter, you get that motherfucking who did what, what's going on. Yeah. That's what Twitter is for. Yeah. <laughs> and then Snapchat is like, what I'm on right now, Instagram is like, boom, boom, wow, what I feel like posting. I feel like my Snapchat only really got motherfuckers on there that I really fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you only get, you only get. Cause I don't really get fucked with nobody doing us. like that unless I fuck with you a long way. Like, who cares what you're doing today? Yeah. Nobody cares. Right. That's why I really I go in there and I skip through like ten or twelve of the other other snaps and then just get yeah. out. Yeah. I get off about forty five to an hour. I might skip through another five of them. No, I see highlights. Two sports highlights. Oh, sports highlights? Oh, what? Yeah, sports just sure. get my attention, bro. I'm watching the game right now while we on the podcast. Off ESPN. Off yeah. the, uh, ESPN. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and Snapchat? I, I go to YouTube. Yeah, NFL. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. I got that on there on Snapchat. What you was talking about? What social media? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They got the little pages. You talking about the little pages? Yeah. Instagram got a whole lot of group chats. You know what I'm saying? Where you exchanging pictures and shit on my Instagram, too. Instagram a little a little bit it's like it's a little bit it's like you do a little bit on Instagram and shit Bro, Snapchat, uh, for advertising and I shit with the Snapchat. like that Snapchat oh Snapchat you did. Snapchat oh, him that shit. Snapchat right. him that ooh right, that's that that's that old song that they made that's that that's that old song. it goes down in the dims it got it go down in the dims it go down in the do it go uh, down your dims not mine. Wow. Who is it? Not mine. Not mine. <laughs> he cleared up real quick, don't he? Not mine. He's Cap. Uh, Capricorn. He's silly. Uh, he got <laughs> like Capricorn. That nigga is silly. Right. I took the cap off. No cap. <laughs> oh, look, I took the cap off. I threw that bitch. No cap. No cappuccino. No fuck he's that capping. Up. Can't fuck with it. No cappuccino. Bro, he know his deal's rocking. No. Not no more. We gonna quit it. Not no more. <laughs> no cappuccino. Not no more. We gonna quit for you. It's shower we cast. It's shower cast. My shit is crazy. We don't no need more. to see it. But you know who we shit? Crazy. Who? Wayne on the oh, track. Oh, we know Wayne's is crazy. But, That's obvious. But you though. know, Eric be really trying to front. Nah, don't bring that up. I don't be having she shit got, in my DMs. Show. She got fans. Motherfuckers, no, no, don't DM me. Trump. She got fans. No, I don't want to show. Nah, if you ain't got my phone number uh, and you been in my, I've been having my same phone number since I was but you got 13. Some, you got, but, but you 11 got or something for like 15, 16 you ain't years. You got a couple fans? I'm going to need you to Robins. get the fuck off my but line. But you ain't got a couple fans? A couple cash out Hell no. She got a couple fans. She lying. Yeah, I oh, cash out, buddy. Let's move on. <laughs> all right, so it came out that Straight Juice up. World had a seizure because he swallowed all the perks hey, that they left on you, a plane. Man. Where you at, man? Still so remember, we was talking about how Juice World died because he had he had, had that seizure, Juice. and we had thought that it was probably something he already Juice had. World. No, this nigga took all the perks, perks before he got the plane, and it came out that the part of the jet pilot is the one who told the police. <sighs> so is it? Is it the pilot's fault that Juice World died? Boosie had an interview and said he think it is. Which I think, based Mix, on that story, is it the is it the pilot's fault? So it's the pilot. The pilot got something to do with it, but it's not the pilot's fault. Okay. Straight up. It's Juice World's fault, and it's other people he was with fault. But he took a fucking private jet. It don't matter. He can't so have that all he that. Won't, 
so that people won't have to worry about what he do. Or right. He can right. do what he want to do. Right. That was Gucci. Everybody do that. Lil Wayne just got caught with three guns on this yesterday on his private jet. Mm-hmm. Boom. He shouldn't have took out him, but he knew once he landed, he was going to jail. So he should have just paid that little cash. Got to that pilot. There. Yeah. Nah, either to that pilot or to pay that cash once he landed. Right. Charge. Got locked up. Ah, oh, okay. Had a little okay. Fee. Okay. Had a little fee. Go through processes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he didn't want to though. He probably never been in jail either. Yeah. There's a private jail, bro. Open that door. In Chicago. Door, you know what I, mean? Mm, I mean, I know, but at the same time, mm. he I'm probably not. was thinking like he gonna have that charge. So. I mean, I he juiced real so. at the end of the day, so he been fine. I was about to say, I don't think so. I think that he would have had enough money to throw. It's because he's young dog. Throw a couple of that shit off. Throw a little bit Who of that shit Who cousin Young Dog? <laughs> Joe's World. That's Key Glock, ain't it? Who ain't that Key Glock? Uh-uh. Wait a minute. Dolph is not Juice World's cousin, Wayne. What? Let me show you a fact. Let me you show think you they fact. For real? He just left his front room. I did not know that. Yeah, he made a big post and everything about it. Well, oh, I know that, but Juice World and Key Glock? Yeah. Wow, I they did not know that. <coughs> what? I thought he was from Chicago. Well, Dolph is from he Chicago. Is from Chicago. He, Dolph he is up. from Chicago. Juice World grew up hanging with Herbo and uh, uh, G Money and them. You know what I mean? He grew up hanging with all the far right people. I that, know, but that, I forgot that, that Dolph, Dolph was actually from was his Chicago. I know that's a known fact. It don't say it was. Didn't know that. That's definitely learned something new. The fuck? No, I got facts. All I do is speak. So, facts. so is it the Stephen? Did you already say it was the Polly Fog or not? Hmm. Is it the Polly Fog? Man, oh shit, man. Yeah, it's the Polly Fog. But damn, I wish you wouldn't have did swallowed all that shit just to motherfucking not go through the consequences. I, I don't think. I think. With his celebrity status and the amount of money that was going to back him, he would have had to take a little bit of a loss. But mm, I don't think he would have got too much off of that shit. So I feel like it was a bad decision to do what he did. But he's probably thinking about, I don't know what the hell he's thinking about. I don't know. I don't know. I just, you feel me, value life more than your consequences. You know what I mean? So. Okay. He just he just must have thought about the consequences more than life at that point. It was like, look, I'll be all right. Mm, made a bad decision. RP to him. Okay. Fucked up out here. I just hate the fact that we keep losing black men off of yeah. fucking being scared to go to jail, drugs, being, all that stupid ass drugs. shit. Motherfuckers, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you get shot for reaching for your license and registration nowadays. Shit, the baby awful. just got arrested for arrested nothing. for some dumb ass shit. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing and they was checking they show like video and them checking they, his car before you know what I'm saying before he even got arrested. Right, what the fuck so, is doing? What the fuck are they I don't know, I feel like it's 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 definitely the not I feel like it's kinda sort of like a little bit of the pilot's fault because you I feel like the pilot's a white person so they feel like they have to say something. You know what I'm saying? They can't. Hey, look. They have. You're on a- look, man. <coughs> they have all type look, of man, shit on their conscience. Matter. It don't matter because the white people they have tell all type on of you. Shit on their conscience. The white people tell on you. The right. motherfuckers told because the other day, motherfucker. Because them motherfuckers told on me. Them white people told on me, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> 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 them motherfuckers told on me, nigga. <laughs> I had, I had, I had, I had, the motherfucking, hey, look, check me out, check me out, check me out, check me out, the motherfucking soul, cause we had, we had a dog, bruh, we, we had dog sitting for like eight hours, bruh, the motherfucking white people told on me, bruh, silly, bruh, fuck them motherfuckers, they straight be tattletelling, they don't want niggas to have shit, nigga. Okay, shit. The white people be telling. Now we see. Now we see why. I mean, why Stephen put that shit on the pilot? It's his fault. I'm on mama, bro. These motherfuckers be telling. Y'all ain't gotta say shit. Shut your funky uh, yeah, ass up. You crickety crackly, uh, baloney smelling <laughs> oh, ass, motherfucker. 
Oh, they you talking about our apartment? Yeah, people. bro. They gonna send me a fucking email talking about uh. Oh, look, you know, look at look look at the uh. What the fuck they say? Look at the contract. If you want any new fuzzy friends, make sure you refer to the contract. Well, which one of you motherfuckers is over here snitching? Bitch, I'ma smack you. That was a visitor, dog. Play with me. Do not play with me, nigga. Quit playing. Y'all motherfuckers just hate. Hate because I'm actually doing something with my life. Damn, let me live, bitch. Um, <laughs> I mean, that goes back to, like, regulations. Like, they probably feel like shit. Uh, uh, to prevent this shit from happening, then shit. I, th- I think I saw some, I think I saw a dog, like, Regulations say that we can't have dogs in these apartments, so so then I need to tell you know what I'm saying. Motherfuckers conscious be like white people conscious is so just like them motherfuckers be off. They don't they don't really like any colored people, even though they dumb as hell. They done fucking got all they sauce, all they flavor off of colored people. These stupid motherfuckers did motherfucking everything that they use and that they love. They love peanut butter. We motherfucking created motherfucker thousand with what. <laughs> I was about to say thousand dollars. Thousand, thousand shit off of, thousand other inventions off of peanut butter. A black man did that. Uh, and these motherfuckers, everything they like to do. The that motherfucker stop white. Like, these stupid bitches don't even know that we motherfucking help do that. Elvis Presley, he's not the real king, nigga. Um, a black man made that Fruity Tootie song, man, and his stupid ass want to copy it. And it's just, white people just jock us so much. They hate that we so original and we got so much flavor. Fuck them corny ass motherfuckers. All the white people I know, I fuck right, with y'all. I was about to say, because I fuck with people. some white people and everybody ain't, right. uh, they ain't all snitches. They you ain't know. all snitches and shit, but there's something out there. They ain't all gonna tell on you and some of them back you up, but most of them, 90% are snitches. We talking about you. Even the white people that I fuck with here. probably a snitch, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Hey, so, see, man, you were doing some bullshit, man. You know, you gotta pay I mean, attention. but you got to understand that that's the type of shit that you're dealing with. Like, my nigga, like, you should not have a pilot, like, unless you, like, know, like, bro, I I flew, I flew with this pilot before. He he, he cool. He ain't going to tell on us. You know what I'm saying? But you just trusting some type of pilot to, like, you know, you can't do that. And I also feel like he probably could have, I don't know, due to our situation, but he probably could have took the charge this is all everything after the fact, you know what I'm saying? During that time is different, but maybe he could have took the charge and he been okay, but he probably didn't want to. And the fact that he has to even do all that, you know what I'm saying, shows that the system is fucked to me. That's all that means. Like, for a motherfucker to even have to, like, I'm always with the principal. Like, why would he even feel like he has to take all them pills? You know what I'm saying? Before he got off the plane, he must be scared that he gonna fucking go to jail or... They gonna be his ass or some stupid ass, stupid ass shit like that for him to do that. Especially if you already, if, if you know you're taking them pills, and then that's not even all that you got on the plane, man. You had seventy pounds <laughs> on that plane. Seventy. Oh, we, you got rid of the pills. That ain't nothing. Even if you survived that. Still had seventy pounds. On I don't even know like if marijuana is legal or not in Illinois. Still has 70 P's on that. He did have 70 P's, and that's a lot. But at the end of the day, like, if it's legal, they ain't going to do him that dirty. You know what I'm saying? They going to do him. They gonna, he going to get charged, but it's not going to be, you know, that's retarded. True. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, in order for him to even feel like he has to go that route, the fuck? Like he's a big step like Big Meek or him. Bruh. Just, and that should, sh- that should show other, like, rappers, like, yeah, you find 40000 to get on the P. But at the end of the day, your ass can still fucking go to jail if they find out you got some shit on that fucking jet. For sure. Did y'all not see that happen with fucking T.I.? Sure. His ass was just, I don't, did he, go, he ain't go to jail. Remember he had on them guns on fucking plane? Did he not I don't think that jail? nigga went to jail. That's why I people think he, he snitched. That's why people think he snitched. I thought he did. But I don't, I don't know if he did, but I know that they found them guns and he ain't go to jail that long, so that's why people thought he was snitching. Because, I mean... Mm. You got guns on a fucking plane. That's federal shit. Mm. So, but y'all should have seen that and, and know, like, y'all can't bring that shit on them fucking planes. The fuck? Well, sometimes you trust in the pilot because you're paying them and you think that since it's a pilot flight, they ain't going to do it at extra on the security. So, it was a Which mistake. Which they didn't because they got all the shit on there. Yeah. True. But you, you, I guarantee y'all didn't know that pilot. 
Yeah, it's a mistake. Y'all did not know that pilot. I just hope the rest of us in society learn from that because that's some BS. Yeah, you always, like, we always got to learn lessons from fucked up ass shit like this. I say that shit all the time at work. Empty ways. Really, Wayne? <laughs> we finna wrap it up, y'all. We finna wrap it up. I think we, like, we did, we did, like, an hour. Anyways, we're gonna go around and tell our audience how everybody's feeling this week. You know what I'm saying? Steven? Look, I mean, I'm gonna spit some wisdom. I'm gonna put some wisdom on to y'all, man. <clears throat> Fuck how you doing. This is how you gonna be. How you gonna react to what's thrown at you, man. Look, what I tell y'all right here, right here in this day, man. If you want to make a change, be the change. And all I got to say is, um, don't say yourself short and know your worth. And um, I'm out of this thing. You hear me? Why? Me? Yeah. Probably 2020. I'm going to be a big stepper like Big Meech. Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. Uh, How you feeling this week? I've been chilling this week, feeling good, uh, slow rolling. Uh, you already know me, man. I'm really thinking about uh, doing something epic. You know what I mean? 365 days. No kids. <laughs> you going to do it again this year? No kids? Yeah. You ain't having no kids this year? No. Nope. Okay. Turn on. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Like me, Wayne, and Steven's generation ain't on the kid Ooh, shit. So. Okay, nah, boy, we be like, all of our the parents had them. I want to be like, like set, be plenty of feet, plenty the in the dirt, already sprouting. Then they come. Yeah. Okay. I ain't finna, uh, cause I just seen too many people that I don't really got them to go through too much. So I ain't finna do that. I ain't finna play like that. Yeah. Okay, so what about it? it, it, it I don't know what shit. What are we gonna turn up though? I don't know. Let me see. Let me think. Yeah, what we, sure. what, what am I up. on this week? Put on their neck, right? I've been now. chilling this week. This motherfucking week where you got two days on, two days off, two days on, two days off at work, and it's been a great time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've been up enjoying up. not doing shit. I really don't want to go back to work at all. You know what I'm saying? And motherfuckers always <laughs> say, like, when well, you got a job, like, you must hate your job. No, bro. I don't want to work at all, bro. I don't want to go. I don't want to do. <laughs> like, when I work, I don't work eight hours and then I get off. I work 16. So, I do my eight for my my companies that I want to do next year. And then I do my eight for my regular job so I can pay my fucking bills. So, I don't work just eight hours. It's a 16-hour day for me. So, I don't want to do neither one of them, bitch. I ain't going to lie. And one of them is funner than the other one. And they both ain't really that bad. And I don't want to do neither one. So I don't want to hear nothing about <laughs> motherfuckers who don't want to work for themselves and all that shit. That shit is harder, okay? It's harder to get up and go to work for yourself than it is to have a set schedule and go the fuck home. So shut the fuck up about it, okay? Right. I don't feel like doing nothing this week. I just want to lay the fuck down. I'm enjoying it. It's a good time. I was sick. I'm good now. I went to Disney World. I'm back now. And we just, I don't know. It's been a good day. You know, we spent a day with our family. Christmas breakfast. Sure. Everything was breakfast, cool. Breakfast. Mama laid it out. I feel full and satisfied. And I'm still full. I can't even. Yeah, I'm just ready for, like, um, I think the next year is going to be better off for my pockets. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to have more sources of income next year. Turn up on and I'm ready to pay some shit off mm-hmm. next year. And, yeah, my nigga, mm-hmm. I'm ready to be a better person, better me next year. You know what I'm saying? I don't really see kids in my future next year. Do you want to put on their neck, though? I mean, put on their neck. I mean, that's, I never keep my foot off of motherfuckers' necks. That's why <clears> motherfuckers <throat> don't like me now. They because they cannot catch up. Like, they think that they got me, and then they don't. I don't I'm not a person who shows everything that I'm doing so they don't know you know what I'm saying? Until some shit's finna happen. And then, like, wow, she was doing that the whole... Yes. So, I'm always gonna have my foot on motherfuckers' neck. But it's not... I don't have my foot on motherfuckers' neck since I want... You know what I'm saying? It's just because that's how I want to live my life. I want to be better every year. So, you're not gonna go as fast as me. So, I'm gonna have my foot on your neck. And that's the end of the saw cast, my nigga. If you ain't gang, you ain't the fuck out of me. <laughs>
And Excuse that's me. the end of the podcast. Thank you guys for listening for the Appreciate this y'all. Week. Happy holidays, man. You can be whatever you want to be as long as you strive to be what you can be. And we'll see y'all next week. Bye.